You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Shivangi Mishra. Today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of the country's diversity. Let's begin the show with this year's Navratri celebration which is one of the most renowned festivals in Hinduism. It is celebrated during the bright half of the Hindu calendar month Ashwin, which usually occurs in the Gregorian months of September and October. Durga Puja is also celebrated during this time. Although commemorated and celebrated differently across the nation for a variety of reasons, the core reason for the celebration is good over evil, which remains the same. Millions of Hindus offered prayers in temples and observed fast across India as they observed the nine-night Navratri festival. Dedicated to the all nine forms of Goddess Durga, the festival is celebrated across the country with a lot of vigour and passion and each region observes it in a different manner. In Surat city of Gujarat, more than 30,000 lambs lit the Umiyadam temple during the Maha Aarti in the Varacha area. When worshipping goddess Adi Shakti, all other lights are turned out and just the light from the lambs is used. Similarly, in Delhi, an early morning ritual known as Aarti was done at the well-known Jhandewala temple on Maha Ashtami. The temple was beautifully decorated with red flowers and devotees were seen waiting in lines to offer their prayers to the deity. Meanwhile, in Kolkata, many innovative Durga Puja pandals were made to celebrate the festival. This year, the theme of the pandal set up by Dam Dam Tarundal was City of Joy, Calcutta, which reflects the journey from old Calcutta to today's Kolkata. One of the widely performed traditional art forms during Navratri is the Ram Leela, a popular site across the length and breadth of the country in the run-up to the Deshera festival. Performed during the annual nine-night Navratri festival, the play depicts the life and teachings of Hindu Lord Rama. One such Ram Leela is the Love Kush Ram Leela, which is put on by the Love Kush Ram Leela Committee. Jai Shri Ram. The Red Fort in Delhi is where the Lafkush Ramdila is hosted. It is the oldest and most well-known Ramdila committee in the nation. Many film actors participated in the famous Ramdila of Ayodhya on Thursday and staged a spectacular performance of the Leela of Ram Vanvas and Dashrat Maran. In Katak, around 28 idols of Hindu goddess Durga were decorated with gold and silver as devotees strong marquees to offer prayer during the Navratri celebrations. 
Silver and gold figurines have been used to make the idols that have been put on display at different marquees in the city, also known as the Silver and the Millennium City. Crowns with peacocks, fish and flowers are the most common patterns and jewellery has been used to make the idols more appealing to the eye. It is festival like these that show the beauty of culture and traditions of India. Sufism has not only flourished in India, but it has also developed into a strategy for bringing together various religious groups. Even today, people still live by the teachings of these saints. The same is evident at the shrine of Saint Hazrat Magdum Shah, where worshippers of all faiths gather to seek the blessings of the holy saint. People from far and wide visit the Jajmo area of Kanpur city to pay their respects at the Darga of Sufi Saint Magdum Shah Baba. The shrine was built by Firoz Shah Tughlaq in the year 1358. The Sufi saint is believed to have come to India from Iran. There is a large number of people who come to this Darga and claim themselves to be affected by diseases. It is believed after coming here, the effect of these diseases automatically ends. तकरीबन 800 साल से ज़्यादा हो गए कि आप हयाते ज़ाहरी में 60 साल तक यहाँ पर आपने मोहब्बत और उल्फत और उनसियत की तालीम दी, भाईचारगी का दर्ज दिया और इन साल 760 माह और सिपाक आपका मुनक्कीद हुआ जिसमें कई लाख अकीदत मन की हाजरी हुई और यहाँ से हमेशा मोहब्बत की और भाईचारगी का दर्ज दिया जाता है हिंदू हो मुस्लिम हो सिख हो ईसाई हो किसी भी धर्म से ताल्लुक रखने वाला हो वह यहां आते हैं और दिल से दुआ करते हैं और मांगी मुरादों को वो पाते हैं इवन टुडे पीपल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट प्लेसेस एंड रिलीजंस कम एंड ऑफर चदरस हियर एंड सीक द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ द होली सेंट इट इज बिलीव्ड दैट हुएवर कम्स हियर विद अ ट्रू हार्ट बाबा मकदूम शाह solves all their issues or diseases. It is believed that Sufi saint fulfills the wishes of all and nobody returns empty-handed from her. Besides, the government has a lot of money here. It has to be 25 suffer. So, the water of the government has a lot of money. It has a lot of money. It has a lot of money here. It has a lot of money here. It has a lot of money here. सरकार के गुस्से का पानी जो है लोगों के अटैक में तमाम चीजों में बहुत फायदेमंद है यहाँ बहुत भीड़ती है यहाँ सब धर्मों के हिंदू मुस्लिम से किसाई यहाँ पे सब एकता के साथ जो है आते हैं और यही हमलोगों का कि संस्कृति है और यही भाईचारा है हमलोगों का भारतीय संस्कृति का ये प्रतीक है ये मजावे जो हैं ह the message of peace and brotherhood comes out loud from these dargahs and these sites have been acting as symbols of communal harmony for ages. The solidarity among the different religious communities has remained a hallmark of India's unity since time immemorial. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. An Indian startup has developed the country's first human carrying drone specifically designed for warships for carrying cargo and humans. The drone which uses 16 rotors has been designed by Pune-based Saga Defence Engineering Company in close collaboration with Indian Navy. Uh, this is specially designed for the Indian Naval warships and specially for the Indian Navy so it can land and take off from a moving warship. 
Now the biggest challenge on a warship out at sea is when they want to have a transfer of fuel or a transfer of cargo or in case of medical casualty evacuation, they need to bring two ships to together very close to each other and there's something called RASFAS operations or fly your helicopter from a ship and then make it land on the other. And that requires a lot of cost, there's a lot of risk and there's a risk to human life also. So in this case, this scenario, this platform can pick up up to 100 kgs of cargo or with medical evacuation, uh, somebody you can sit on it, as you saw me flying over here, and then can take it off from one ship and then land on another one. Parasha said the drone can fly for 25 to 30 minutes to a range of about 20 kilometers up to a height of 500 meters from the takeoff position. The drone also has a ballistic parachute in case of safety failure and can sustain 30 to 40 percent battery failure, he added. The startup company is looking to expand its commercial usage in the coming three to four years by launching an urban air mobility vehicle for humans, which will be especially useful in case of carrying out medical emergency operations. Exiled Tibetan spiritual leader the Dalai Lama began a three-day teaching session for the Taiwanese Buddhist followers in the India's northern hill town of Dharamsala. Around 400 Taiwanese followers along with monks, nuns, locals and foreign participants gathered at Suglak Khang temple as he spoke on chapter 2, Dharmakirti's commentary on valid cognition. I am so honored to be here because I am so inspired by the Dalai Lama and all of his teachings are like amazing, so that's why I am here. It's a blessing to hear what the Dalai Lama has to say, said a follower from USA, Cindy Travis. The Dalai Lama fled from Hassa for asylum in India in 1959 after an abortive uprising against Chinese rule. He has since lived mostly in the northern hill town where his supporters run a small government in exile and advocate Tibet autonomy by peaceful means. Indian superstar Salman Khan and Chiranjeevi launched the Hindi trailer of the upcoming action thriller film Godfather in the country's showbiz capital of Mumbai. A remake of 2019 Malayalam film Lucifer, Chiranjeevi's Godfather is about the power struggle after the death of an eminent politician. I was away from the Hindi films. Always I wanted to see there should be one film that's got Indian film. There's no regional, there's no Indian film. Correct. It's my strong wish that they should come. Two mega stars in titular roles, the producers are hoping the film to appeal to the masses. The festivals in India are irresistible. People from diverse faiths, religions, castes, and cultures come together to celebrate every festival of India with the same devotion and fervor. Deshera is one such festival when parks and stadiums in India get jam-packed with people who come to witness Ram Leela and burning of giant effigy of Ravan. But have we ever seen the dexterous hands who work day and night to build these giant effigies of Ravan? If not, take a look. The preparations for Deshera start months before the actual day. Various artisans across the country start working relentlessly to prepare the tall effigies of Ravana for the final day celebration. Setting up an example of religious harmony, Muslims in Aligarh city of Uttar Pradesh have been making these effigies for years. <laughs> ये हिंदुओं का तो हार है लेकिन हमें इस बात पे कुछ नहीं हम तो हमर तो खुशियां हम तैयार करते हैं मुस्लिम 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 है हम जो इतनो और हमें तो अच्छा लगता है हम करते हैं इसको और एक साल से तैयार करते हैं हमारे 15 आदमी कर रहे हैं मेरी फैमिली के लेडीज भी हैं Making these effigies require unique dexterity in planting five crackers inside the body of the Ravana effigy and then assembling the large parts of it. From designing the structure to the final painting of the effigy parts require utmost attention and dedication. 
The talent of these artisans is above the bounds of any religion, caste or creed. रावण का पुतला बना रहे हैं कैसा लगता है बहुत अच्छा लगता है मजदूरी गए कब उन्हें अपना खर्चा पानी चल जाता है और बच्चों की है का अपने पढ़ाई लिखाई का सब खर्चा निकल जाता है ये हिंदुओं का त्यौहार है हम मुस्लिम लोग हैं कैसा लगता है बहुत अच्छा लगता है हमें बनाते हैं हाँ पूरी साल इंतजार करते हैं इसका हम Although belonging to different religious communities, the artisans work in unison to shape up the best colorful effigies of Ravana. Every year these festivals of India embolden the secular fabric of our country and set a precedent of communal harmony for the world community. The health insurance sector in India saw an exponential growth during the COVID-19 pandemic with a whopping annual growth rate of 30 to 35%. Let's have a look at the growth trajectory and rise of the sector. Who could forget those disturbing months in India in early 2021? Hospitals at capacity, an acute oxygen shortage, and the health infrastructure almost at breaking point. India was hit hard with the COVID pandemic, but a resilient population battled on. As a result of the economic downturn in the wake of the pandemic, many were unable to bear the upfront costs of healthcare and treatment resulting from unforeseen medical emergencies. Many were left searching for other alternatives to cover their needs. This is when the importance of holistic health insurance coverage was realized. The health insurance sector was seeing steady year-on-year -year growth. However, the COVID pandemic gave it a boost, which increased the sector's growth exponentially. The Confederation of Indian Industry estimates that the health sector in India has the potential to grow at an annual rate of 30 to 35 percent. The contributions of the insurance industry are also noteworthy during these difficult times. They able they were able to provide timely financial assistance to the family of about 27 lakh. 27 lakh and about 24,000 crores of claims were paid with a remarkable speed, thus providing the support that was required at that point of time. India's health insurance sector has been growing with three A's: awareness, accessibility, and affordability. In India, there are six standalone health insurance companies, and there are 19 third-party administrators to facilitate seamless reimbursements. In order to reach people in rural areas and for the urban poor, the government launched Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana (ABPMJAY), the largest subsidized scheme covering 40% of India's population at the bottom of the pyramid. Since its launch in 2018, the PMJAY scheme has involved 35.6 million hospitalizations and has disbursed 5.17 billion USD. Nearly 70% of the country's population is now estimated to be protected by some health insurance coverage, including the state government scheme, social insurance schemes, and private insurance. Health insurance numbers are increasing year on year, but what pandemic has done is that it has increased the awareness to a great extent. Now everyone is looking at the vaccination. Everyone is looking at variety of preventive measures, etc., etc., and that has resulted into increased awareness about insurance. Uh, and we hope in future that lot of uh, uh, families will get uh, uh, their cover and come under insurance fold. With a vision to ensure the health of a billion Indians by 2025, the Confederation of Indian Industry organized the 16th Health Insurance Summit 2022. The summit focused on democratized access to quality and affordable healthcare for all by placing the patient at the center of the care continuum. The outbreak of the pandemic has given a new push to the insurance sector in India, where public-private partnerships play a pivotal role. Largely, universal health coverage can happen only through a public-private partnership. So, it's all the, the whatever wealth we have in the form of knowledge. Or a hospital infrastructure, or industry—it's all like you know, part of government. <clears throat> so naturally, there should be a public-private partnership to see that how we can make every household have a health insurance policy. 
According to health experts, all Indians should have health insurance by 2047, when India marks 100 years of its independence. The country has already initiated a slew of amendments and policy changes that will help the country reach this goal. These changes will help to create an ecosystem wherein healthcare startups will thrive. The pandemic has given all of us pause to rethink our health, both physical and mental. Policymakers in India realize that the anxiety of high hospital bills is something that Indians can do without to increase productivity. Therefore, this fresh thrust to make healthcare accessible for all is another initiative that India is prioritizing to make a quantum leap in its growth trajectory. At the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. A women-only festival in Cairo opened its doors to audiences aiming to spotlight female artists and help them build a wider fan base. She Arts brought together Arab artists with foreign ones in collaborations in music, theatre, stand-up comedy and film. We offer a space for the artists who want to give them a space. متخصصة ليهم بس وان احنا احنا بنحط هايلايت عليهم يعني احيانا بيبقى في حاجة حلوة قوي بس وسط حاجات كتير ما فيش شايفاها بس لما حد بيجي يقول لك يقولك شفتي دي فآه اه واو الله دي حلوة ده بقى اللي احنا عايزين نعمله كمان عايزين يبقى فيه كوبريشن او فرصة للتعاون الدولي بين فنانات من جوه مصر ومن بره مصر وده اللي حصل او حاصل في في اكتر من عروض عندنا اكتر من كوبريشن بين فنانات مصريات وفنانات من بره مصر هيعملوا حاجات مع بعض وبدأنا النهاردة بشي ارتس اوركسترا او اوركسترا هي الفنون اللي كان عندنا عازفات مصريات محترفات ومعاهم الكوندكتور من المانيا والقائد الكمانجا من المانيا. The festival also supports aspiring artists with an opportunity to sponsor by production a selection of performers like Kathy Halim who won in last year's She Festival edition and sang the song produced by the festival in this year's opening ceremony. The Japanese firm Entity Communications is establishing a global data cooperation infrastructure. Entity Communications aims to develop a fusion of ICT, information and communication technology and factory automation technology. It is developing a cooperative European data transaction infrastructure Gaia X. Also Entity Communications is proposed to cooperate with Catena X. It is the data cooperation infrastructure of the German car industry. Its data covers details of a car design, production, gathering of its parts, car production, sales and recycling. In this situation, Entity Communications have announced at an online press conference to work towards cooperative development with manufacturer Omron. It aims to accelerate production system, thus harmonizing the global environment. 生産現場、工場などに特有の通信インターフェース、カテナ X、スカイ X と連携できるデータモデルに対応しているOTMけ及び海外のデータプラットフォーム向けにも対応できるネットワークサービスです。現場にあるデータを集めて分析をして活用する
Kawago in Saitama Prefecture has an old-fashioned landscape called Small Edo, which attracts a number of tourists. Kawago City was famous for producing sweet potatoes. Imokoi, a sweet potato cake made by the Japanese confectionery shop Umon, is a famous confectionery that combines bean jam with most of its ingredients. Umon sells special soft cream Koi Soft only at Toki no Kane store with their famous sweet potato cake. The Japanese word Koi means love. ソフトクリームはお味がミルクとミックスと紫芋っていうのがあります。紫芋に関しては自家製のお芋のペーストに紫芋ペーストを混ぜて、まあ本当に自家製のソフトクリームという形で作っております。味はですね、まああの濃厚ですうちのソフトクリーム。ミルクにしても紫芋にしてもすごく味が濃いので、まあミルクだったら食べた瞬間にもミルクっていう感じですし、紫芋も,もうお芋っていう味がするので。結構皆さんあすごくお芋だっていう形で声は聞かれますね。The Japanese tourism industry is prospering as international tourism is now becoming more relaxed. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia@anin.com. I'm your host Shivangi Mishra. It's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.